I'm good? Okay, everybody, welcome back. The Festool Live, and we're doing a live feed here at uh, Built Better, a Festool product showcase. Whew, I got that finally out. We're covering all kinds of the new tools that are being released tomorrow, March 25th. Uh, to be purchased. We have the TPC, which we'll do in a little while, the OF1010. But what I want to concentrate right now is Brent right now uh, is showing uh, everybody the new TS55 FEQ. Okay, it's the same saw that we've had before, but we've done a couple things with it. We have put a 1.8 millimeter, we went from a 2.2 to a 1.8 and we changed the riving knife on it. Also, we updated our blades, of course. We went to the 1.8 millimeter, but, and I'll just cover this. We have, this is the blade that comes with it. It's a new 42 tooth blade, new tooth geometry. We also have the 28 tooth and they also a ripping blade, which is our 12 tooth. We also have an aluminum cutting blade. We used to have it in our arsenal. We came back with it. And we also have an aluminum cutting blade. And what Brent is showing Mike over here is all the new accessories, okay, from the new angle unit to the extension, okay, to these new adhesive pads that go in the new track that have these holes right here. The adhesive pads stick instead of using uh, the traditional clamps here underneath. Say you're working on a plunge cut and you need to uh, stick it to a wall, stick it to a floor and not mire it. These adhesive pads, they come in packs of 30. <clears throat> they go here and they adhere to the surface and don't mark it up. You'll get about one use out of them. Um, but if you're careful and don't get a lot of dust on there, you can use them at least uh, another time. Uh, it also comes with two holes. Also, you notice this, it fits right on top of your sustainers. Okay, and that's the new track saw, the TS55 FEQ. Also, the new deflector right here, which covers both the channels right here, where the old deflector went like that. And the other one, Brent, can you give me a quick Vanna on this? Oh, is that beautiful or what, huh? Okay, so this is the new uh, cutting package, FS. Thank you very much. It comes with this $300 wrench. It's five millimeter here and three millimeter here. Here's the new angle unit. But what I really want to show you is the new connectors. It's actually the instructions are built right in. This goes in the bottom. You do this one first and it spreads it out. It aligns this rib absolutely perfectly from underneath when you connect them, okay? And then this is the stiffener. It goes up top here afterwards. That's why it's labeled two and that connects it and that's what that three millimeter turn down is. The cutting package also comes with a limit stop for plunge cutting, okay? Two clamps. So that's a new cutting package and it comes with a new angle unit and we've been debuting it here at the uh, product uh, roach, uh, showcase. So, I'm just gonna set this aside. Thank you so much, Brent. Okay, now. I have a few people here that we invited who some of them have used the new track saw, okay? And some of them have seen the new accessory kit. So I'm gonna start right over here with Tommy Mullaney, okay? Tommy, what do you like about the new track saw? Um, I absolutely love it. So one of my favorite things, uh, great improvement of the new track saw, would be the 1.8 millimeter cuff blade. Uh, I find that it cuts so much quicker without compromising on quality. You get super crisp cuts and there's so much power there and you can really just take the full depth of cut and just get whole power out of it and make a super clean cut. So yeah, it's a really, really nice improvement. So what a lot of people are saying, it's, it's a, a big difference, it's 50%, it seems like it's 50% more power, it's actually 50% faster, and the only thing we've done is reduce the curve of the blade. But it feels more powerful, right? Absolutely, yeah. Cool. So we also have here Mike Coffey from Coffee Custom Builds. Mike, you've seen a few things about the new saw. Yeah, I mean, it looks great. I haven't been able to use it yet. I was gonna use that probably after we get done here, but I mean, what, what does the F stand for, Sedge? 
Is it faster? No. Oh. <laughs> furious? <laughs> faster or furious? <laughs> yeah. furious <laughs> so, just something I'll point out really quick. It's funny because <clears throat> you have F, okay, E, and Q. Q is usually the plug it cord, E is the electronics. And F, you, it stands for fast fix because that's how you change the blade. Right. But we're also saying it's for the new facelift on it. Oh, okay. And there's, I'm gonna, there's another tool that's coming up probably at the end of the night. The F actually stands for fractional, and that's on the new OF 1010F. Right. Okay, I had to ask because I said, okay, I know, I know the new router doesn't have um, uh, fast fix on it. Right. But it's fractional, the new uh, depth scale. Anything else you want to add? I mean, it looks great. It looks similar form factor to the previous model. I mean, something we're familiar with, so it's not like a huge departure from the previous design. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's going to be a good saw. So, uh, I'm just excited to get my hands on it. It looks like, looks like a great saw. I mean, everyone's, every single person who's used it has said it's faster and it feels more powerful. I mean, it's not really more powerful. It's just cutting less material, right? Exactly. So it's, 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 it's just uh, an engineering thing more than anything. So. Yeah, you get 25% less dust. Yeah, exactly. So that's I'll awesome. That. Yeah, for sure. I like the dust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last but not least, he's here. <laughs> Who? Who's here? <laughs> Mr. Silver, hey everybody. Uh, this is Jason Bent from Bent's Hello. Woodworking. And uh, Jason, what do you like about the new song? Uh, without oh, you own one. I do. Okay. I've been using it. So, not to totally repeat everything that Tommy said, but the thin blade just makes all the difference in the world. I've been lucky enough to be using it on the cordless model for the last year with the new thinner blades. I started using this, exact same results. It's just phenomenal. It is legitimately faster, and I have not talked to a single person that's made the switch that has not immediately written me and told me, wow, this is a remarkable difference. So the 1.8 millimeter blade is just, it's phenomenal. It's a game changer. Um, you have one of the new tracks. I do. What do you like about it? Uh, I would say the track is probably one of my favorite new features uh, because of the versatility of this track versus the old track, being you can screw it to things that already has the pre-countersunk holes, and the fact that you can actually put it on top of a sustainer, which I can find would be really, really handy for somebody moving to a job site. Um, also that you can stick it to a wall. You don't have to drill it and put marks in a wall. But honestly, one of my favorite things about the new track is the new uh, hose guide that you had, yeah. you had talked about because that was a, a problem that I always had is it getting caught on that one spot. That daggone cord in that channel, huh? Yeah, and that, that, new, know. that new hose guide is just it's fantastic. Yeah. You just don't have that problem anymore, but it's a very versatile track. It's a good design updates. Cool. Any additional comments, gentlemen? Yeah. It's a great product overall. It's a great improvement. It's a step in the right direction. And um, yeah, things, when you just think that there isn't anything left, Festo finds something and comes out with something new and shocks everybody. And I'll add to that with the new track. I think it's fantastic with having the oval in the middle for the ability to put it on top of a sustainer and transport it through the job site. So mm -hmm. there's less risk of it getting damaged. I don't have to balance it on the top. Just makes life easier. And then having the adhesive strips as well, you know, you could attach it to the side of a fence or a wall. Just makes it more versatile. It's a really good improvement. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Anytime. Hey, gentlemen, thank you very much for being here and attending this event. We really appreciate your thank time. You, <sighs> Everybody, uh, well, the best. <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned. I believe the next new tool is the TPC, the one all beat all 18 volt drill from Festo. And I want to show you why. Every, I think it's been one of the hottest tools that everybody's been reaching for here. So we'll see you in a, about a half hour, 45 minutes. Stay tuned. We got two more live sessions coming. Thank you.